Bonsoir. Bon, bienvenue. Alors, euh, pour ceux qui s'en souviennent, il y a dix ans, euh, Charles Lloyd avait clôturé de manière magistrale l'édition de Jazz sous les pommiers. Il revient ce soir dans une nouvelle formule en trio avec deux euh, excellents musiciens, Xavier Russal et Eric Arland. Mesdames, Messieurs, Charles Lloyd, Sangam. Zakir Hussein, Zakir Hussein, Pablo Master, Zakir Hussein. Alabataria, Eric Holland, Eric Holland.
Ghost is not anchor enough to happen. It's free from fear, free from anger, free from the things of desire, call him a seer and illumine. The bonds of his flesh are broken. He is lucky and does not rejoice. He is unlucky and does not weep. I call him illumine. that run away from what they desire but carry their desires with them. When a man enters reality, he leaves his desires behind him. Even a mind that knows the path can be dragged from the path. The senses are so unruly. He controls the senses and recollects the mind and fixes it on me. I call him illumined. Sense objects will attach you to sense objects, grow attached, you become addicted toward your addiction, it turns to anger, become angry, you confuse your mind, confuse your mind, you forget the lesson of experience. Forget experience, you lose discrimination, lose discrimination, you miss life's only purpose. Hatred, a man walks safely among the things of lust and hatred to obey the Atman is his peaceful joy. The uncontrolled mind is not guessed that the Atman is present. How can it meditate without meditation? Where is peace without peace? Where is happiness? Safely among the things of lust and hatred to obey the Atman is his peaceful joy. Sorrow melts into that clear peace. His quiet mind is soon established in peace. I call him illumined. its course upon the waters, the wandering winds of the senses cast man's mind adrift and turns his better judgment from its course. When a man can still the senses, I call him illumined. Senses cast man's mind adrift and turns his better judgment from its course. When a man can still the senses, I call him Illumin. The recollected mind is awake in the knowledge of the Atman, which is dark night to the ignorant. The ignorant are awake in their sense life, which they think is daylight. To the seer, it is darkness. continuously into the ocean, but the ocean is never disturbed. Desire flows into the mind of the seer, but he is never disturbed. The seer knows peace. The man who stirs up his own lust can never know peace. He knows peace who has forgotten desire. continuously into the ocean, but the ocean is never disturbed. Desire flows into the mind of the seer, but he is never disturbed. The seer knows peace. The man who stirs up his own lust can never know peace. He knows peace who has forgotten desire. He lives without cravings, free from ego, free from pride. This is the state of enlightenment in Brahman from which a man does not fall back into delusion. Even at the moment of death, he is alive in that enlightenment. Brahman and he are one. Parchilamsu, Ariom Tatsa, Disciple Play.
The master, Zakir Hussein, Zakir Hussein.
Zakir Hussain, Zakir Hussain. <laughs> Eric Holland, Eric Holland. <laughs> Poo Thomas, Nestor Poo.
Collins. That's what he's saying. Thank you.